Hello and welcome to this video. This video is going to talk about function types as parameter types. Now if you've watched the videos in order then we've kind of covered this already but I thought I would introduce you to some high order functions and because high order functions are essentially function types as parameter types. So let's just quickly look at the example here then I'm going to go a little bit more into detail about what is exactly happening and we'll look at the implementation of it as well. So we have a collection here of integers 0, 2, 5, 3, 9, 10 and 12. As you can see they're unordered. And now we've got two variables, even and odd. We want the even numbers and we want the odd numbers. And we're going to filter through each of the numbers. So we're going to iterate over the, each of the numbers one by one. And we're going to check whether or not each number is even or not. And basic mathematics, we're going to check that it's uh, even here doing this check. Otherwise, we're going to check if it's odd. OK, and then we're going to print them out. Down the bottom, you can see 0, 2, 10 and 12, 5, 3 and 9. They're, they've all both been separated into different um, into different collections based upon whether they're odd or even. That's not the, the idea behind this. But what we do have here, when we look at the implementation of filter, so this is a um, this is on an array. OK, this is a function added to an array where you can see filter. And then the first um, parameter here is uh, is an optional parameter and it says is included and this takes an element all right and it returns a boolean and it will throw if possible just ignore this throws for the time being all right so it takes an element and it returns a boolean and the return type of it is a collection of that element okay this is generics don't worry about this in this in this sense all you have to worry about is that it's an it's an integer uh, array okay integer collection but so what's happening here is when we look at the implementation of it once again, we can see that uh, there are a whole bunch of high order functions and it's it's a predicate that you're using basically. You can see there that filter and then you've got a predicate uh, and so on and they, they are relatively basically the same, same thing. Um, so filter is saying it takes a function type, right? And it takes a function type, let's just do the uh, function type here. Um, and here and it, this is basically uh, what the function type is okay and we can do here and then we can say then num1 in and do this again and do there and do that so this is then the even this is then the even function type all right and we build whoops build it once again everything will work fine we run it it'll all work fine so now if we take this even function type and place this where that predicate should be, you can see that it does exactly the same thing because the parameter is is included. So what we are doing is because it's an optional parameter, we don't have to specify the actual arguments, the label. It's saying, hey, give me a function that takes uh, takes an integer and returns a boolean. Well, this signature of this function is the same. So we can pass this function type here, this variable with a function type, and the implementation is implementing that one function type. And we can pass it to this one function as an argument. And this is function types as parameters, and they become super useful, amazingly useful in the future when you start using closures and scope and parallel programming and uh, all sorts of stuff because you need it if you want to do like if you want to download some data from a server you're going to need a closure right and the closure is nothing more than a function type right passed as an argument to a function that takes a function type as a parameter so it's really important that you understand um, what function types are and how you can use them okay uh, with that said I hope that you've got something out this one video I think I've nearly exhausted uh, looking at functions function types um, and so on and before we move on to actually talking about closures now if you don't think that I have exhausted it so far uh, I've made all these one videos so I can, I'm gonna have a couple of days where uh, I can see your feedback and then I can maybe re-add some new videos uh, in the right direction um, based upon your learning curve, all right? All of your learning curves. With that said, uh, thank you very much for all of the support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all of the normal things that you do already. 
Other than that, if you do have any questions, concern, feedback, or anything like that, then let's just start a conversation in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, and goodbye.